Hi and welcome to the Airburst Garage. I'm Dan and thanks for checking out my channel. I'm going to be passing on all the tips, tricks, and accessory builds that I made for my airbrush area in my garage throughout my last past 20 years. I know how I struggled when I was a beginner, so hopefully some of my videos may make your life a little bit easier and help you move forward in your airbrushing endeavors. So if you like this content, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell so you don't miss out on future content. So with that, let's get started. Hi, and welcome to the Airbrush Garage. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about Createx Clears. There's two types of clears Createx offers, and it's UVLS Clear, which is their newest clear, and the 4030 Balancing Clear. Both are very good products, but you really need to know how to mix them and what to mix them with in order for them to perform properly. So let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start off with the 4030 Mix Additive Balancing Clear. It is a water-based polyurethane clear. Okay, so for a lot of you that might have abandoned this product because you found it didn't mix well, I'm gonna show you the corrective action for that today. Um, Myself and a lot of people out there that I've discovered on the internet had the same problem. So what the problem was with the 4030 is they came out with this balancing clear for two reasons. As an inner coat clear, okay, it, it dries with a matte finish. So it, it's not for going over your artwork once you're done, but what is, it is for is to go over your artwork in between coats. Okay, if you want a, a clear on there. But the problem with it was is that something wasn't working quite right with the 4030 and the 4012 reducer. Okay, so what happens is, is as you can see this right here, I pour, this, is, this has been sitting about 10, 15 minutes. This is the 4012 and the 4030. That is reducing is a very thick mix. Okay, and what it tends to do, it tends to gel up with that 4012. And I'll even show you this further because the main use for, at least what most people would use it for, is that you need to be able to mix uh, a polyurethane clear with your candies. Okay. So every time I want to go to mix a candy, if you can see inside this cup, I'm not sure, but I'll show you right here. It gels up when you put in that 4012. Okay, when you add the candy, when you got the candy, the 4012, and the 4030 bouncing clear. If you get some of that in your gun, what a nightmare. Okay, so, and I discovered this because I would, I, you know, I would mix right in my color cup instead of mixing in a cup like this and then find out, oh, I looked at it, why is it my gun spray? I look in, it's all gelled up. What a nightmare, what a mess. Uh, then you got one heck of a cleaning job to try to get all that out of your gun, which by the way, I have a video on for cleaning your gun, check that out. So. I think what happened was is Createx got enough complaints and they figured out they needed to come up with something else. Okay, 4011 is now in the spec sheet for 4030. I mixed a little bit of this about 10, 15 minutes ago and I'll tell you what, beautiful. No gelling at all, nice and fluid, you can see it in there. Okay, it's not, not real thick or anything, it looks really good. Okay, so. The 4030 is a good product. It just needs to be mixed with the right reducer. They just got it wrong the first time when they, when they had this, you know, we're mixing it with this. Uh, I believe this was the corrected action for that and they found out that it works a lot better even with their paints. So this is my go-to anymore is the 4011. I use it for mixing the paints uh, and also these clears. But the clear that they just came out with, this ULVS, the ultraviolet uh, light stabilizer clear, is really cool okay first of all they have this in different finishes they have it in you know uh, matte they have it in gloss so you can use this particular product over your finished artwork if you'd like okay but they don't recommend still that you use it over like an automotive finish they still want you to use the automotive clears when you're painting a car but over your artwork that you see like on the wall here like this so I, you can use this clear it's really cool um, whereas the 4030 is not recommended for that use because it's a matte finish and it's just not recommended it's more of an intercoat clear but you can use this clear, okay, um, 
for, for any of that. I mean, I used it for an inner coat clear. Um, I've also used it, you know, on my finished artwork. And I also have no problem mixing it with my Candy 2O. As you can see, this has been sitting for about 15 minutes now. And it's very, very, uh, very thin. There's no gelling. It's really nice. So, just to go over a recap, the 411 is the answer to your problems with anything gelling up. I only ever had to gel up with the Candy 2Os. It always, the 4012 always worked well with the paints, but the 4011 works even better. So, I hope you uh, liked this video. I hope you learned something today. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up down below, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Hi guys, thanks for coming by the Airbrush Garage. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos for all your airbrush tune-ups. And if you like content like this, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell so you get future notifications. Share it out with your family and your friends. Really appreciate that. And we'll see you in the next video and keep on painting.